Hello, welcome to this next uh, Marvelous Designer tutorial. In this one, we're going to have a look at other ways of doing thickness. So I've done previous videos where I've you know, looked at getting the normal maps out and uh, we've looked at how Marvelous Designer does that thickness. Uh, but there is another way. There's always another way. Um, I prefer this way uh, over the Marvelous Designer thickness because I find it more controllable. Um, everything, you know, just kind of works. You don't have to post-process the mesh to weld things together uh, so much easier anyway the the key to this is the layer clone so if I select all of my pieces on my little practice dress here and then right click and where is it it's not there it's over here right click and layer clone uh, overall under let's go over so that will create an additional set of pieces which are going to sit over it, over the originals. Doesn't matter where you put it in 3D in the 2D space, um, it's just going to do it. And if I press space on that and zoom in a little bit and stop the sim, I can grab this piece and move it out. And there we go, we have thickness. But it's not quite enough because it doesn't show up very well. The the key to this is then reselecting your pieces. And bear in mind these are linked to their original, so whatever I do here is going to happen up here. And then right click, offset as internal line. Now I want these to be small steps and I want there to be maybe three of them. Sometimes you get two, sometimes three, sometimes four, depends upon, you know, the effect you're looking for. And if I zoom into that, you'll see now we've got all of these little lines right up, butted up against the edge of our uh, dress. And if I press space, that should have a reasonably profound effect upon what we're looking at. Now, the internal lines are getting in my way a bit here. So I'm just gonna go up to uh, the show menu and turn off internal lines. So now, without any thickness, without any normal maps, um, these edges are creating geometry so that the um, when they're you know welded together or when they're merged together, they form an actual edge. They actually curl over and give you a nice edge. It's not the absolute most perfect way of doing things, uh, but it's a good workaround. Uh, for you know, over and over and above the um, standard MD thickness method, I think you have probably slightly more control over the stand uh, over the the thickness method. Um, but in this case, you know, we're going to have to go with what we've got. So there are a few things we can do here to enhance this and to control it, and we'll have a look at those in the next couple of sections. Right, so uh, we do have some control over this. We have a couple of options we can use. And I'll just demonstrate uh, on a quarter of the dress here. Uh, so this piece here, uh, you'll notice I've been experimenting there. Let's put that down to zero, which is the default. Um, is currently the same as all of the other pieces. They all, you know, um, mesh and weld, to get, uh, weld together at the same kind of height. But we can put a, um, a collision offset on this so that we've got thickness collision and thickness rendering. We could use both, um, but you know some you might find are better used in other uh, areas. So if I set my collision offset here, my additional thickness collision to 10 uh, and the sim is running, you'll see that it moves away from the underlying panel because it's not going to get any closer than 10 millimeters give or take but there is a gap between them then that's not a problem because when we export this as a um, as a thin mesh it's going to fill that gap with geometry for us so don't be uh, you know concerned about that uh, let's pop this back to two and a half so another option we have is the rendered uh, thickness 
so we can set this individually on each panel and it will do the job for us so again it's doing more or less the same thing except this time it's kind of pushing off to the left is that the left or the right i can't tell um, so that's not necessarily uh, the best option uh, 10 millimeters is admittedly a little on the ambitious side uh, so i'm going to put that back to one and again it's moving off to the side rather than moving forward so sometimes it's going to be possible to use the uh, the rendered collision or the, the um, additional thickness rendering uh, but generally speaking i think that the additional thickness collision is going to be uh, the one but don't do it on the inner panel because that will push it away from the avatar and then the avatar obviously will will have a gap between our clothes than the avatar or more of a gap than we had in the first place anyway okay so that's that um, so you can mess with the thickness um, you don't have to leave it at the default and you know we have options there to you know make our uh, creation you know look slightly different in different places okay i'll stop rambling now um, next i'm going to um i'm gonna just finish off this mesh and then i'll export it and then we'll see how that looks elsewhere so i'll talk to you then okay so when we did the layer clone over um, it didn't change the normals of the underlying uh, panel pieces and that means it kind of looks a little bit um, thin so what I'm going to do is select my top pieces first of all I'm going to break my sim uh, linked editing so remove linked editing there and then in the 3d view I'll just right click and flip normal and when I sim that we should get some real nice thickness going on there you know, the normals are consistent it's a, it's a shell everything's good okay so uh, beyond that what we need to do is um, UV it <laughs> so let's um, do a quick one I'm just going to go to the UV editor that's what my UV looks like currently I'm going to right click and zoom not zoom reset UV and then I'm just going to right click on this and fit zero to one there we go okay so exporting very straightforward it's file export obj and I'm going to uh, just rename this uh, with thickness there we go uh, I don't want any avatars, I want a single object, I want weld and thin, unified UV coordinates, scale is your choice, I, I generally use meters, and there we go. So let's click OK to that. And I'm going to go file and export again. Uh, you don't have to do this, this is just me being forgetful. Uh, I don't know what directory I'll put that in, there we go okay so um when we get to the next part uh, i'm just going to import this into another program and we'll see what it looks like so i'll talk to you then okay so i'm in substance now and uh, if we go file and new whoops that wasn't new there we go i'll select my uh, thickness mesh give it a little resolution 2048 everything else is fine just click OK and there we have it we have a dress with some thickness now it's not perfect there are you know some issues you'll see some where it's welded um, various edges together <coughs> you tend to get a little bit of darkness or a little bit of lightness depending upon how things are going but this is considerably easier to work with than a standard MD mesh, a standard MD thickened mesh, shall we say. Um, so let's pop, uh, let's uh, bake our maps and then uh, see what we can see. 
So I'll just bake these quickly. Let's do a 2048. Blah, 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 blah. Do I need thickness? No, probably not. And let's bake. It'll take a moment or two, and then we'll pop a couple of materials on, see what we can see. Okay, so let's have a look for some fabric. Uh, artificial leather. Let's have a leather dress, shall we? On one panel there. There we go. That should do one or t'other, front or back. There, lovely. I'm going to copy that. Oops, if I can find the copy, pop it onto the other layer and paste. If I can find paste, I can never find things in menus. And now I'm just going to switch this over to a red, going a bit Harley Quinn now. And as you can see, that thickness is really coming up. You know, you can really see it. Let's have a look in a rendered view. Well, that looks quite nice, but I really hate seeing that background because it doesn't really match. Uh, so, whoops, just going to go and turn that off by setting clear color there. There we go. Let's turn the ground off as well. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that's getting a, a more manageable thickness out of a Marvelous Designer. Uh, I hope you found that useful. Uh, I hope you found it interesting and I will talk to you again another time.